Hi! From this video tutorial, you'll learn how to add content with JetElements modules using Elementor Leaf Page Builder. Now, let's open WordPress dashboard and here check if JetElements add-on is installed and activated. Go to Plugins Install Plugins tab and here view the list of the installed plugins. As you can see, JetElements is active on this site. You can also see its version and if it needs to be updated. Now we need to navigate to Pages All Pages and click Edit with Elementor option for the page where you want to add JetElements modules. Here scroll the Modules block a bit down and locate JetElements modules. Here is the full list of the modules you can add to your page. Each one has its own content and style settings, as well as their advanced settings. With JetElements you can create sliders, carousels, animated text, buttons, headlines, animated boxes and many other eye-catching pieces of content which will definitely spice up your web page. Some of the modules will work only with extra plugins, such as Content Form 7 module. The WooCommerce modules become available when WooCommerce plugin is installed along with JetElements. Let's scroll the page down and add a new section at its bottom. We select two column structure to place two separate content modules in it. Then you can change the proportions for the columns. Just drag the border separating the columns to the left or to the right to change the column's width. Let's place the banner module to the first column. Click Choose image to add an image to it. I selected one from the media library. Ok, it is the right time to add some content to the banner. I input the banner title and description in the corresponding fields. In the settings block you can choose the animation effect for this banner from the effects list. Looks good! Now let's style this module. I want to add the additional elements color to change the color for the thin frame shown on hover. Then I choose the classic background type and select the needed color using color picker. To change the banner title typography I go to the corresponding settings and enable typography option. Here you can change the font size and other typography settings as well as the font color. I want it to match the frame. Now, as we are satisfied with the results, let's add a new content module. I choose Contact Form 7. Here you need to select one of your existing contact forms. Then I want to position it a bit lower to match my content in the left column. I go to Advanced Settings and change the top padding. Let's save the changes. Now you can navigate to view page to see how it looks after we added several JetElements modules to it. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and good luck with your site!